welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Hey, today's video is a tutorial on how to achieve pretty much what you're seeing on me right now. It is what I like to call a spring night look. Um, I don't know where I came up with that name, but we'll make it work. <laughs> if you are interested in recreating this look, then go ahead and continue watching. exfoliated my face and it feels really really dry I didn't want to put the toner on because I did want to show you guys how I like to prep my skin so all my products I don't have my exfoliator here but they're all from Herbalife I've been using this for many years it works great with my skin like I'm not missing anything so I don't find the need to find something else so I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much spray my face that says I am not sure what kind of look I'm going to brought a few things and then depending on how the makeup turns out then I'm gonna name my video go ahead and grab my pore filler from NYX and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it a little bit on the areas where I see that my pores are extremely big I'm just gonna quickly use my fingers I pretty much like putting pore fillers whenever I'm gonna be outdoors during the day just because you could see your pores a lot more than usual. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of um, my moisturizer. Smear it all over. Because I did add the pore filler of it, I'm just gonna go around it. And then once my face feels like it's all moisturized, my lips are even feeling a little dry. And then I can go ahead and just apply whatever is left on the sponge. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to correct my under eyes. I like using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, just because it has a really nice formula, it's a perfect orange for my skin, and it blends out super, super easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it all over the dark circle. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply on the bridge of my nose because I feel like I have a lot of like darkness there. I like grabbing my MAC brush uh, 270. I like to spray it a little. I'm pretty much buffing the product into my skin. I'm not blending. I'm not trying to spread the product. I'm just wherever it is, just in place, kind of just dab it. If your concealer doesn't sit, it'll blend in with your foundation, so it's pretty much you're doing that step for nothing. So make sure and let it sit for a few seconds, maybe a minute if you're patient enough. Go ahead and grab my Beauty Blender, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with my Fix Plus. And I'm gonna pump two pumps of my Studio Fix. foundation is buffed into my skin it's okay if you don't cover all the orange we are still gonna apply concealer next so it's not a big deal um, so next we're gonna go ahead and start with the brows I love using NYX products just because I find them to be very affordable and I'm just gonna use a regular pencil which retails for like five bucks the only downfall about this you do need to sharpen this pencil and a lot I know a lot of people don't like doing that don't like carrying a sharpener with them but I mean if you don't mind it, then it's a perfect product for you. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pencil. And it comes with a little, like, cute little um, brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping my brows. the Maybelline brow gel. You just really want a very soft, gentle application. I'm gonna go ahead and now continue on with the eyes. I'm gonna use a primer from MAC Cosmetics. Grab the same brush that I used for my orange concealer. I'm just gonna dip a little bit and, and I'm gonna apply that on both of my lids. I'm gonna grab my Morphe M4. For 117 and I'm pretty much gonna dip on 
coconut cream and butter pecan. And I'm gonna use that as my, my chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I'm gonna dip into the peanut butter and a little bit of the bonbon. And I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up the crease. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brush from Morphe in, no, because it erased. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my NYX Fire Palette. I just wanna show you the true light. I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply a lid color, and with that, I wanna do something shimmery. So I'm gonna grab my Metal Palette from NYX. And I really love this palette because all the shimmers are super pigmented. They're very smooth and doesn't have a lot of fallout. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Morphe brush in 30. And I'm just gonna add a darker shade. So I'm gonna dip back into my chocolate bar by Too Faced and I'm gonna add the hot fudge. Um, favorite eyeliner, Italia Deluxe. I've been using this for years. I'm going to be using the NYX Duo Lashes. And I'll come back and finish the eyes later just because I like setting my um, concealer powders and stuff before I start doing the, the, the waterline. So I'm going to grab my Studio Fix Concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and start concealing my eyes. I'm going to get my Laura Mercier powder. It's a little too much. I, I got a little carried away. I grab a little bit of powder and I'm going to go ahead and start setting my foundation. As I'm setting that, I can go ahead and start I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bronzer. It is Start Golden by MAC Cosmetics. I'm gonna suck in the cheeks and then follow my natural shadows. I'm gonna get the Morphe Y9 in the gold collection. I'm just pretty much gonna mix all three. I'm going to go ahead and grab my glow kit from Anastasia. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and grab my peaches from MAC Cosmetics. Grab a little fluffy brush from NYX. And dust it off. And I'm going to go ahead and smile and only apply it on the apples on my cheeks. And then we're going to go back to the eyes. I am going to go ahead and grab my Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil. Now that the eyeliner on the waterline is applied, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of shadow and I'm going to go ahead and outline my waterline as well. So I'm going to add a highlight to the inner corner of my eye just to give it that little pop and set the face with some Fix Plus. Now we're going to go on with the lips. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I had so much fun filming this. So this is going to be, um, I guess like my spring break night look. No, what? This is going to be like my little spring night look. I know I suck at explaining things and my angles are awful, but I'm trying. So I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video. If you guys recreate this look, go ahead and tag me on social media and I'd love to repost your work. If you guys have any questions of the products that I use, I'm going to go ahead and link everything below as well. Alright guys, so we came to the end of the video and I just want to thank you guys for being so patient. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you loved this video, then go ahead and comment below. You know, let's make it fun. Go ahead, if you love this video, go ahead and comment a little flower emoji with heart. So 
much for watching and I will see you guys 